Okay, can you guys see now? Welcome back. Because every time a phone call, it's messed it up. I don't have to resume it. So the first part of the video is that I show you guys how good the stone um, glue hold, hold, hold the stone. So now it's okay to keep the other part. Yay, that's better. Hey sis, welcome back everybody. This phone was just slow. Hey everyone, please come back. Yes. Okay. Just rest a little bit until I'm done. Okay, uh, we're gonna change the color to to the ombre. We're gonna do the ombre. We're not refueling these. Are you lavender for you guys? So when you, the customer already have nail without ombre, so you when you, when you need to do ombre, you gotta thin the the bed part down in order for you to do an ombre on it. So it won't look so thick. So you're gonna use the the sanding band. The, I mean the bit, the safety bit now, and to grind them down. Make them thin right there, so when you refill right there, it won't be so thick. Hey, Mona Lisa, hi, sis. I gotta use a nip, the nipper thing to to grind that big stone, to cut the big stone off. Cause that glue is hold up the stone where it don't want to come off. Hey Pam, hi sis.
I share through group and tag the name it gave me to tag. Thank you, baby. Thank you. From now on, I go more live on YouTube, guys. I will go on Facebook, too, but it's most likely more on YouTube. If the quality of the video is good, I'm continuing to do on YouTube. That kind of saved me time from just take time and post this on YouTube. So this has helped me a lot. Thank you, sis. Thank you, everybody. Thank you for sharing. So the time I'm doing right now is to grind the nail down, thin them in the nail bed so we can go back and do a, a ombre refill. Change it to ombre. going to be a little different. Just thin them down. Thin in the nail bed. All right. Now, I'm using Trin Solo Sanding Band. Push the cuticle back and clean them up good. And we go back and refill them. Bắt vô bắt lục dùm em cái hát moon sao dùm em nguyên một phát để em ship ra đó ở nhà không còn cái hát moon đó hả? No, em hát mùn bữa đó em đem cái đó là em đem square, cái square trong cái cái hát mùn. Hát mùn có một cái à. Ở trong ở trong kho. Em chỉ cần một cái hát mùn nữa thôi. You guys gonna see this is gonna be a complete set when we're done with her nail. A lot of my customers love this sanding band, guys. It's smooth and it's not rough. It's not tearing people's cuticle up. I love them. Bless you. Very easy for the cuticle. Most of all the most of all the sanding band that I had is coarse too, but it looked like porcupine. It's killing people. Beautiful. Okay. Jolanda, hi sis. All right, time for the refill. Y'all ready? Using bond aid first. And primer. Now, the cover color I use on her is Lavender Fuel number 23 by Trin Solo. It's a lavender, but kind of between bluish. And I'm using the brush, size 16, Trin Solo exclusive brush. You guys can order all these on my website, trinsolo.com. And some of the stuff on my video that you guys don't see on my website, you guys can also inbox me on my Facebook, Trin Solo. And you want to order that, you just inbox and let me know. And because some of the stuff, it hadn't been on a, a website yet. All right. To do a refill, chain to ombre set, guys. 
you still do the two step like I told you guys do the first ball to put it right here and the second ball to cover the rest so that I do the same thing as the new set first time I try these so I don't know how this is gonna work but oh it blend because it's clear at the tip so it's pretty good hey Jay hi babe you gotta come on in see it's already blend so the tip she still have the marble look she had the pink marble có một cái hả một thùng hả giấy lôi ra cho em đi cái thùng nào mà hát mua nó anh lôi ra cho em đem về See, this we're gonna do the glitter. Still have two different steps. You be covered better. The reason why I I always tell you guys to do two step like that, cause that to erase that line in between. Hey, Chris. So, when customer have different color tip of powder, you guys can always change to ombre. If, if the customer already have a silent color on their nail, you can change to ombre like this. And now her nail is like a marble tip, ombre marble tip. The color I'm using right here is Lavender Field number 23 by Trin Solo. Hey, my babe. Mine's blurry. Put on the TV, baby. It's clear over my end. Sometimes the connection is bad. It's clear on my end good. For this case, because it's half clear, I may have to go a little clear to cap that blue to make sure it's blending well toward the tip. So in this case, for the refill, I have to use the clear a little bit. I don't have to if I don't want to, but it just because a refill. So I'd rather cap a little bit with clear. Just quick, it don't have to do a lot. You guys know we normally don't cap with the clear, but in this case we have to because it's a refill. Because the nail bed is a little, little thicker than the tip. So we're gonna cap the clear at the tip, trying to balance out. Because I really don't have to put clear on it, but this is just a balance out the tip. The body of the nails. A little bit, you don't have to do a lot. I only put the part at the tip that's just a little thinner because 
you know, when you do a, a refill and you grind, the tip going to be a little thinner. And you cannot make it thick with the color already in there. So the only part you balance it out is you going to clear them and to balance it out to make it that little pretty curve to it. Little, you know, that pretty apex. Sound? Square nhà có rồi. Đem luôn cũng được. Để một mớ đây chứ. Phải để một mớ đây. Ừ, phải để. Ừ. Okay, I must say it again. The reason why I have to cap the clear because whenever we grind the nail, the nail is thin out and we cannot put whatever she had on here again before we do the cover color. So after you do the cover color, you can use the clear and cut and cap it to balance the tip out to have a pretty normal apex. Um, to balance the tip out because you cannot make thick again because that's going to be lumpy and funny before you do that. So I'd rather cap after. But you got to know that when I do my ombre, I don't cap mine. At least you get a super dark color or you get in the glitter. That's the only way that I, that, that's the only time that I cap with clear when I do my ombre. Bác xong bác ra xe, bác sách dùm một, một bịch thật là bự vô dùm em nha. Để cho em finish pack luôn. Tại vì nhiều cái thiếu ở đây á. Cho em phải đem để em pack. Did you change the quality while oh, watching my microphone? Just switch to the TV. If you switch to the TV, it'd be better, huh? If any question asked, you guys can ask me here. I'm going to try my best to answer you guys. Hello. What she need to... Hi, I'm in. Trin, do you use the coarse sanding band on the nail bed? Yes. If you ever try my sanding band here, it's so easy for um, for the real nail, for the you know the customer nail bed. Um, the sanding band that I bought from other people before that I use, just like I said it earlier, it looked like porcupine because <laughs> it's so spiky like. But the sanding band I have. It's the white sanding band, and um, and there are um, heat reduce heat reducer, so they um, they're very um, easy for the customer nail bed. It's rough the layer that you want. It won't dig into the skin. It don't tear the skin off. Um, and I have those on my website. Very very smooth, and it, and I love them. I have a lot of people love them. So that's sending band. That's the one you have to use because you don't want to use fine. Mm-hmm. Đúng rồi. Cái đây mặt nào? Cái lên tới mắt luôn. Cho ngủ đi, chứ tối cũng thiếu ngủ. Ờ. 
All right, I'm done with these, and I'm gonna put Ice Meow's glitter on her two ring finger. Clear them a little bit to balance out. Nói chung ở đây mà nó học cũng không học và về em cũng không khe tại tối về em bắt con cu nó chỉ đó bác. Đây thì kiếp nó bí gì. You guys see it? I do the clear not just because I cap them, but I just want to balance the tip with the nail bed. Pretty pink. Hello, hello, hun. Hey, Tay Tay, how's this? Yep, you guys see that? Just balance the tip to the nail bed because we do that ombre new color it be thick in the nail bed and the tip can be thin so that's how you do balance it out all right i'm using ice meows glitter Shaniqua, hello hello This is called Ice Meows yeah. by Trin Solo 2. Yeah, you guys want these? I do have these. I believe I have these on the website. I don't know. If don't, you guys can inbox me for these. Now we still go back and cap them with clear, like I always do with the glitter. look like cotton candy color yeah it look pretty huh because she had that pink marble and off-white marble on her nail there. first like now you change into a different set it looks different now it don't look like what she had no more the tip is the pink and clear and off-white marble All right, we're done. Now we're gonna reshape her nail. Baby, will you take a pictures and post? Post it. I can't see it on my end, on my TV. I can't find the damn remote. Yes, baby. You be like, will you take a picture and post? Post it. You mean like take a picture of this now and post it? Yes, I will.
Or you put in any design on this one. She don't want no more design. She just want to leave them like this. I only do according what customer asks. But certain customers just let me do what I want and that's different. But she just wants, she already told me that she wants just um, the lavender refill ombre to these. It's still wet. I'm going to skip that a little bit. The ring finger is still wet a little bit, so I'm skipping that. I'm going to take before and after picture, and I post these, and you guys are going to see the difference. And like I said, if any customer using solid color powder for the whole nails and when they nail grow out, you guys don't have to do a review the same color. You can always change them to an ombre. But whenever a customer have the solid color powder on their nails, and you guys want to change it to ombre, to make sure before you do it, you got to make sure they blend first before you do it. Uh, because the customer going to wear a different color powder on top, which is when you do a second color on the customer nail, you got to make sure they turn out like ombre. Because if, if you don't do it and come out like ombre, if it's not blending, you just put the color on just to put and you don't know that they blend it or not, don't do that because that's going to make you look bad. You got to make sure they blend. The ring finger wet, so I skip that ring finger a little bit until they dry. I'm just praying the phone nobody calls so it continue working. We're almost done. Because I use the phone that it didn't have no service. The camera is just off. If any question asked, you guys can ask me. Put your phone on do not disturb. <laughs> if I put do not disturb, then the, the internet doesn't work, huh? It's still working? It's still working? Okay, then I'll do that, I'll do that next time because right now if I turn it off, if I kind of swipe it off to put do not disturb, it will, um, it will turn the screen black. Thank you, sis. I'm glad you told me that. So I know that next time, because every time the phone call, it just... Let don't say it, because you're going to call. <laughs> okay, what I'm using right here is Trend Solo Safety Bit, guys. Cuticle friendly, beginner friendly. If any of you guys hadn't um, tried my safety bit yet, this is the one to have. The best one ever. My internet turn off when I do that. Try it first before you go live. Yeah, that's what I thought. But I'm gonna try it first, yeah.
I can't wait to put clear on these. So you guys see when I do the clear, that to balance out the nail. To have that pretty apex, the pretty curve to it. If you own, if you don't go over cap right here to balance out the tip, it's gonna be really thick here and thin here, and that will make the nail pop really easy. So you gotta choose the pen. If it's if it's thin thin, then you do it. If it's not thin, you don't have to do it. But I highly recommend do it to balance this out. If you get them long, I do leave them a little thicker. But when customer wear long, you gotta do them too thin, they're gonna pop really quick. Leave them a little thicker, but when you file them, you tuck them the way um, that I do, that they don't look thick. Always clean them good underneath. Check out if anything coming off, coming loose underneath. But if it's not, you just clean them and you go, you know, move on. But if the customer nails start growing underneath, if they work so much, then they're gonna lift in in the bottom and kind of loose underneath. You clean them up and you can always glue them back. But one thing when I tell you guys do a refill, when the customer nail glue that you can glue underneath, you only glue that the nail like from her beginner her nail back to over here but if they come in off underneath but like where to the bed part you do not want to glue because if you glue underneath there where the bed part is going to turn green you only glue tip not in the nail bed so remember that guy if it come and loose underneath and you glue it will turn green Clean them and glue them back, but do not glue the part in the nail bed, only the tip. But if you if it coming off all the way under the nail bed, take them off. Do not try to save it. It's going to turn green. That's very important and when you got to do a refill. Turn over. Man, it looks like about the storm here. Glue the free edge. Yep. You know, like sometimes uh, the nail grow halfway right here, and you only allow glue from here to here. But if customer had the 
uh, I, I mean, overlaid and, you know, it's all the way, then, yeah, you can glue. But, like I said, don't glue when it get into the nail bed. Clean them first before you glue. It's coming. Hmm? Oh, they will. We were busy yesterday. You guys know that we still have a Steve up here that's still taking my video. You guys know that, huh? Babe, sis, did you said it? You told Myra? It still have the people still took taking my videos even though we uh we uh we told them they still have my video on their on their on their channel. Hey Casey. See, they turn into a different ombre. I mean, different kind of nail now. It's easy and pretty. Even though we said it a while back in October and they're still doing it. This color, this glitter pretty. I just sent one of my friends to your website for a brush and bit. Thank you, Casey. Don't it look good, guys? Pretty, huh? It blended very well. Because it's a clear, but it gives that little marble look. It's really pretty. It's better to apply clear top coat underneath there yeah, rather than the top, just on the top. No, when do ever you get the clear tip, you do, you do top coat, top and bottom both <clears throat> to make them look like water. Make them look better. Make them look really super shiny and clear. All right. Oh, you hit one. The middle one. You see it? You scrape it. You didn't see it? Yep. Let 
Ngủ quá ra All right, switch it out, baby. Now you guys see how her nail look. It's a brand new set. It's a different set. Don't really look good. All right, turn them over. Let me make sure it's straight. Cause the glue, I mean the gel do make them a little off. So I just kind of touch up a little bit. All right, we done. Okay, okay. All right, put it back. Kind of let me turn his eyes. Let me see. Perfect. Turn this one. I'm here, baby. I'm going to take you to go get your hair cut. I'll take Ethan to get his hair cut. I'm not cutting his hair, guy, because I was going to cut his hair. Then he's going to open the box of diamond in the next couple hours or so after he get his hair cut. I know. You slept a little minute. How you got like her nails? They thick. But guess what? You can't tell them thick. The way I touch the acrylic. You're tired. Oh, oh my, 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 my. Take it out. Close your hand like these. Yeah. All right, rub all over, baby. Yeah. What, baby? I love you too. That's how her nail look, guys. How long have you done her nail? How long? I don't know. How long have you been sleeping? Uh, not long. Thank you, sis. Thank you, everybody. Put on top of each other like this. Yeah, yeah so we're going to see. You can take that away. So now she got that marble toward the tip. And uh, lavender feel number 23 twin solo powder. And this is Ice Me Out with the clear and pink marble toward the tip from a refill chain to the ombre set. All right, that's it. I'm done. Go ahead and watch and come back and take picture. That's it, guys. Thank you very much for watching. I will come back later. And please like and subscribe my channel. And I will come back later for another video today. So thank you very much for watching, everybody. I love you, guys. Misha, I love you, Bay. Bay, I love you. Pam, you see up here, sis. I love you, sis. Casey, I love you. Thank you, sis. Thank you all of you guys. Thank you for watching. Erica, I love you. Tete, I love you, sis. Everybody, I'll see you guys later. Thank you, thank you.